Uh, hello, uh, this is Global Soft Perka, um, and I'm going to do my first, or at least try to do like my first legitimate unboxing type video. Last one I did was for the 3DS, but it consisted mostly of me looking shocked at the camera and saying the word how. Um, this one will actually consist of game related things. I've been excited for this game ever since its announcement. It basically sounds like a dream come true, and I'm really, really looking forward to actually getting my hands on it. I honestly cannot believe that I have it on launch day. I did not think that it was possible to get it on launch day, but I did. So I'm going to unbox this on partially on camera, um, but I'm not going to show all the details of me just sort of like ripping the box open, so um, we'll be back in a second with the power disks, because I got three power disk packs, and I'm going to open those first. Okay, um, I got three packs of Disney Infinity power disks, which, as you can see, um, come in little blind bags. Uh, this is something that Skylanders does not have, and they provide, um, they provide both buffs for your characters and items to use in the toy box mode, which in my opinion is the main draw of the game. Uh, I got three of these, and I actually have scissors this time. Sorry, how do I just doing cool? Okay, well, let's see what I got in my very first pack of. Oh, sweet! Oh, cool! I got the Alice textures. Let me see. There we go. And I got the bolt texture. No, wait, not a texture. Uh, this is a uh, buffer. The round discs are buffs. Um, I think this makes you more powerful or faster. One of those two. Now, my second pack. Okay, I got... Oh! The, I thought that you got one round disc and one... and one, um... one hexagon disc in each package, but I guess that's not true, because I just got two hexagon discs. Um, I got Nemo textures. And, um... The uh, Dumbo ride from uh, Disney World. Um, I thought you got one of each in each pack. I thought that that's what this meant, where it showed one of each type of disc, but I guess not. Okay, please, 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 please have either a Stitch or Sugar Rush themed one in here, or else I will be sad, Panda. And no, I got. Oh, they're hologra slightly holographic, but I didn't get any Sugar Rush ones. I got, I got Con the horse, and I got, um, crap, uh, oh, it's Elephant Abu, like when he gets transformed to an elephant. Um, I did not know these were holographic. Um, I think one of the other ones I have is also holographic, but I, yes, the Dumbo Ride one is also a hologram, except it barely moves. No, its ears are moving, that's what it is. Um, honestly, I'm, Wait, I guess the orange ones are either rare? Yeah, the, the ones that are orange must be rare or something, because it doesn't mean they're mounts, because this is also a mount. Um, so, honestly, I'm actually really disappointed with the ones I got. Um, I kind of wanted pretty much uh, a lot of the ones that weren't these, but that's okay, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not upset. Um, I'm just a little disappointed, but it's okay because I also have one of my favorite characters of all time in figure form as a launch character. Something I thought would never happen in a million years. And these boxes are actually pretty easy to open. Oh, he comes with a card. And instructions. Oh cool, he has like a code, I guess you can use that for something. I'm not going to show you that, <laughs> in case it's unique. Um, but here he is, it's Randall Boggs slash Randy Boggs. We, they can't decide which they're going to use, and god these figures are pretty. I would, I know that this sounds like the kind of thing any, a lot of people will say, but I honestly would buy these even if there was no game. These are really nice figures, like, whoa. Look, 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 look at the texture on him. It's really nice. Um, so now I'm going to shut off for a second and unbox the actual game because you do not want to see me just opening a game box. And I will be back in, like, a cut. And we're back. Um, 
adjusted the camera a bit so we can get a better view of this. Uh, this is everything that came with the game uh, starter pack. Uh, it came with the transparent playset base thing which goes on the same hexagonal slot as the uh, hexagonal power discs. And speaking of those, it actually came with one. I did not know this. I'm not sure if every pack comes with the same one. I got Rapunzel textures, or um, Tangled textures rather. Uh, I assume that they mimic the lanterns in the movie. Um, we have our three starter characters. Uh, Sully, who is way bigger than I thought he was going to be. And I know I've already said this, but damn, look at the detail on these figures. They're really nice. Um, that is no more apparent than it is on Jack Sparrow, though. It's really a shame I'm, I have, like, almost no interest in the Pirates characters, because this figure is legitimately beautiful. <laughs> I would have paid, like, three times as much for this, even if it had nothing to do with the game. And the sad fact is that you think I'm exaggerating, but I'm not. <laughs> oh, man. And here's Mr. Incredible, uh... Honestly, compared to the other two, he's kind of lackluster simply because he's so simplified and because the Disney Infinity style is very similar to the Incredible style already. I like how they each have their own unique base terrain also. Um, as you can see, uh, Mr. Incredible has like a shattered road. Jack has um, like uh, pl wooden planks and uh, both Sully and Randy have, um, I guess that's supposed to be like the University Pavement. Looks more like they're standing on either a spider web or one of those honeycomb uh, window cookie things. <laughs> um, uh, there's also another card. This is for the three starter characters. And this magical device here. Let me make sure yep, it's showing up on... I have no idea what the official name for this is, but... I'm going to call it the Infinity Gate because that sounds like something out of a Magical Girl anime. Um, we now have... Oh, wait. The game is kind of important. Um, it also came with this really nice note which basically says if which basically says if the game screws up on you, please tell us. I wonder how long it'll be until they take these out of the packages. This must, will probably be a thing that's only around after a soon time... A soon time? A short time after launch. Um... And here's the game itself, along with back, which shows the figures currently available, which I think will also be something that changes later on. They'll change the boxes. Um, there's the disc, uh, which also only features currently available characters on it. Um, and here's the ins enclosed instruction book that nobody reads. I used to read them when they had stories in them, but now they don't. They just have instructions. Okay, now I'm going to put the actual game into the actual Wii U and play some actual Disney Infinity. Um, I probably won't have that much of it on this video, but because it'll look dumb because it'll be webcammed. But okay, here we go. We're going to play it. We're going to do it. We're going to play the game. Okay, we're back. Um, I've never actually recorded my TV before, so I apologize in advance. Wii U decided now was the best time to update, and now it's actually the game.
man. I did not... Remember when Patchy was waiting for the Spongebob Lost episode? That's like exactly how I feel right now. Break this game, I swear. Oh my god. Draw lightning bolt. Over time, with care and a sense of adventure, it begins to grow until it's so bright that it can't be contained. And imagination becomes reality. Imagination can take you anywhere. But you have to take the first step. Oh my god. This is amazing. those around you. Wait until the King Candy figure comes out. Not only can we meet new friends, we can visit new places.
Hey, was that Randy? Where is he? Skylanders, you can jump in this game. I'm sorry, that joke is really overdone, but I had to make it. Ooh, you climbed it.
actual game is lighting up in the same way, do I put a figure on? Is that what I do? center of your experience, the toy box. Anything's possible here with a spark of imagination. You can drive a car, battle evil minions, or hunt for hidden treasure. Want to create your own unique world? Check out the Red World Pad to master your skills. Car one for me. Okay, we can jump. Yeah. We can yeah. roll. Yeah. A playset piece on the Disney Infinity Base if you want to visit that playset. Let's see how this works. The other stick. Building Mastery Adventure is the perfect way to harness your creative potential. Get to it through the Red World app. Wow. Now I think that that's... That's all for now. Thank you for watching. <laughs>